so today's topic that is your transforming functions beta so in this chapter that we will study about transformation of graphs translations stretches reflections miscellaneous transformation okay simple rational function and reciprocal of a function modulus function okay so there are many so some of them that we will study at this time so let's just start one by one that I would like to explain verbally when you feel problem then I will explain that in written okay yeah. yes so suppose that you are seeing that one function one function affects x, x cube minus 8 as usual I explained that to you that it is a cubic function that's why it's a graph that would like to be like this okay understand uh, they are saying that uh, draw the graph of this one but uh, always remember that okay they are explaining that cubic graph it means uh, graph formation of cubic function always remember that cubic function that's graph will be like this okay it may be possible that uh, it's an intercept that would like to be changed Either you are seeing that it is minus 8, okay, it can be positive also, okay, it can be 0 also. If there means, suppose that if uh, there will be fx uh, equals to x cube only, okay, so if there will be fx equals to x cube, so in that way that you can see that there is no intercept, so your graph would like to pass through origin, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, so. Yes, so describe the transformation of y equals to fx to y equals to cx in each case. That's the, also the same thing. So, are they explaining means? Uh, oh, fundamentally that they are explaining that I think they are asking these questions to draw the graph because that they are thinking that you know about the graph. Means plotting a graph that means you have to understand that you have to plug in three or four or five values of x regarding to that you will get the values of y over there okay as I explained that in previous class that uh, you can also consider any equation as y okay Means and y equals to fx also I explained that to you in function so that's why you can see that gx that is given okay many gx you are seeing these are the functions so regarding to the function and equation that you can choose there plug in the value of x over there three or four or five values then you will get your graph like this okay yes a little bit do you think that i have to explain your means um, graph yeah I explain my graph also. oh explaining of cubic graph so we can move over here Give me a second. Yeah. So, are you able to see clearly on your screen? Yes, sir. Great. So here, firstly, I'm going to explain you better how you get a cubic graph for there, okay? Cubic graph, that means your cubic equation will be given there. Wait a second. What I mean to explain you, you asked me to draw how to draw the cubic graph all these functions you are seeing over here means they are in the type of equation okay so here with respect to equations that are how to draw cubic graph cubic graph that means having power 3 I am explaining that to you how to draw those type of graph okay so here on your screen that you are also seeing that online book in this one is sketching cubic graph so also we would like to study about the properties of cubic graph plotting and sketching cubic function okay uh -huh. and also using these to solve problems okay yeah three things that means indirectly function also that we will study over here so let's start so yeah oh, give me a second it's coming yes beta. suppose that you are seeing that y equals to x cube fundamentally you can see that there is no constant term or not there is not a constant term 
so fundamentally you have to consider in your mind that your graph would like to pass through origin where origin origin yeah origin yes if your if you if there will be intercept negative intercept so that will cross through negative means so negative y axis if there will be plus value so that will cross through positive y axis clear Uh, but the shape of graph that will be same like like inverted s okay are you able to see my moving cursor uh, yes okay. sir yeah so a little bit miss i miss uh, just as imagination that i am saying that your graph will be like this either positive either that will be with respect to negative okay uh, but if there is no intercept then that would like to pass through origin okay yes so here you can see that few few values of x that they are giving here very quickly that i am plugging the values over there so when it will be minus 3 minus 3 it will be minus 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 minus 27 that will be your first value okay yeah. next one is minus 2 2 is a 4 is a 8 minus 8 will be there minus 1 1 is a 1 1 is a 1 minus 1 will be there when you will get 0 then it will be 0 when you'll get when you'll plug in zero you'll get zero so that means it it is completely assigning that your graph would like to pass through or is in okay yeah then one there will be one and also it is your turning point beta you know where the graph would like to change its direction or position that is your turning point clear oh yeah one here will also be Two, two is a four, two is a eight, two is a nine, two is a twenty-seven. Okay. Mm-hmm. Turning point. You can also understand that where the graph would like to change its value of y, either positive to negative, that is also known as turning point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever I am explaining that to you in your class, that beta after few times, miss few hours, you will be able to see that your class on. my channel any time you can go there and you can get perfect knowledge of this one perfect i am using word okay uh, yes so as usual that after plugging the values of x you are getting the value of y over there so when y value that you will get that then minus 3 comma 27 that will be your ordered pair okay or that means your first point on graph okay uh, Minus three comma twenty seven. Okay, minus three is here, and twenty seven that will be uh, approximately here. Yes, because a little bit that you can see that one square block is not further divided into ten blocks. That's why that a little bit we can we can assume that it will be twenty seven. Okay. Mm. Minus two comma minus eight. Minus two is here. Minus eight that will be approximately here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Minus one comma minus one. So minus one is your here. And minus one and minus one that means a little bit you can displace like this. Okay, little bit. I am not sure about that. <laughs> Means uh, minus one. Okay, a little bit that I displace that one. And zero and zero. So that means again it will be zero and zero like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. One and one. A little bit same in positive except. So it will be little bit above one and one. Two and eight. Two is here and eight will be a little bit here, and three and twenty-seven. That three is here and twenty-seven will be a little bit uh, here. Okay. Oh. Do you understand that a little bit? So when you will mark it, yeah, all correct. so it is the fundamental way to draw a graph okay uh-huh. it is the fundamental way to draw a graph beta okay and now next is yes 
so you can join your all the points and this will be your graph as i explained that to you that uh, there is no intercept in your function so that's why that your graph would like to pass through origin point okay and then as the cubic equation changes so does the graph will also change okay you can see over here that x now your function is y equals to x cube plus 2 okay hello awesome yeah now your function is x cube plus 2 clearly you can see that there is a now there is an intercept plus 2 okay so clearly you can understand that now your graph will cut the y axis means indirectly y intercept they are giving plus 2 okay so that means a bef a means above a little bit above the origin that your graph would like to pass okay mm -hmm. or your graph will cut the y axis okay mm -hmm. again you can plug in your values over there minus 3 that means uh, it will be minus 27 next minus 2 it will be minus 8 again minus 1 that will be minus uh, minus 1 then 0, then it will be 0, 1, then it will be 1, and 2, that will be 8, 8, and 3, that will be 27. Clear? Understand? So now, again, minus 3, comma 27. So again, a little bit over here, we can do that like this minus 2 comma minus 8 a little bit it will be here uh, very close to that here minus 1 comma 1 minus 1 comma minus 1 a little bit uh, yeah here 0 0 that will be here sorry it's wrong hold on actually we didn't we didn't add plus two. Oh my god 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 minus 27 plus 2 so you will get to minus 25 beta okay mm. yeah you also didn't consider that one so minus 3 comma 25 so it will be approximately in middle yes here minus 2 that is minus 8 plus 2 that will be minus 6 okay so minus 2 comma minus 6 so it will be approximately a little bit downwards yes minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 so you will get there 1 okay so minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 is here and 1 they are saying that beta a little bit you can move above okay yeah and uh, here will be 0 then you will get 2 there okay so 0 comma 2 that means uh, it will also be a little bit above over here yes so when you will plug in 1 then you will get that 3 3 so 1 comma 3 are you understanding that beta yes sir. yes 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 because that beta in a very very efficient way i am explaining that 1 3 when you will plug in 2 then it will be 8 plus 2 10 10 so 2 comma 10 2 comma 10 that will be here and uh, now yeah and next 3 comma 27 no it will not be 27 it will be 29 because 2 you will add there so 3 comma 29 a little bit that will be here understand yes. now when you'll mark it that yes all that's are right so that means now your graph will be in this way so clearly you can understand that your graph you are see, you are seeing that your graph shape is not changing okay yeah. 
Yeah. Your graph shape is not changing. Inverted as that is moving in the same way. But only as the value of intercept there is increasing. Okay. So you can see that the same type of values you are also getting here. Yeah. X cube plus 2. Oh my god. I think the same thing that they are giving. Oh. X cube plus 2. Oh my god. Hello. Yeah, you can see that. Whatever your first question in your exercise. X cube plus 2. You can see that your graph that I explained over here. X cube plus 2. Are you seeing that? No, it's not coming, sir. What? What not coming? Uh, screen means uh, it's stucking, sir. The screen is stucking? Oh, oh okay. I'm, sh I'm sharing that again. Give me a second. I'm sharing a screen again. Give me a second. Yes, I shared my screen beta. So, are you able to see on your screen now? Right. Yes. So, clearly you can see that beta. Yeah, I was asking, I was saying, I was telling you that here you can see that y equals to x cube plus 2 that I explained that to you, huh? No. So, you can see that in your book that your first graph they are asking that y equals to x cube plus 2. Mm, yeah. Save them. What a coincidence. Okay. So that means now you have to consider that you have to find all means of first graph and second graph A and B in the same way that you have to plug in the values of X over there. And regarding to that, you will get the value of Y. Here you can see that it is your plus two. So the graph will will cut the Y axis on positive. Okay. Yeah. Here you can see that there is a minus eight. So the graph would like to cut cut on negative x negative y axis okay so can you tell me uh, j what uh, j j one sir j oh uh, yeah this one oh uh, yes that one this one better i think that it is cube root they are giving okay they are giving cube root so i think that uh, you have to use graphic calculator in this one you know because that whatever value of x suppose that you will plug in suppose that x equals to 1 you are plug in okay x equals to 1 you are plug in it is your power graph okay so when you plug in x equals to 1 you will get 9 over here so cube root of 9 you have to get there okay cube root of 9 and in that condition that one by one you have to plug in the value of x and then with the help of graphic calculator Calculator is allowed. I think that you are in India, so I don't think that calculator is allowed there. Yeah, allowed, sir. Oh, calculator is allowed. Yes, yes, with respect to graph. Then there will be no problem. Then regarding to that one, you have to mention your graph. Okay, uh -huh. what your values that you would like to take there, and then you can mention your points. That means y, okay, or indirectly ordered pair, okay, and then yes. you will get your graph. X cube plus eight. So that means it would like to cut on positive 8 with respect to y axis okay yeah. understand yeah. a little bit better you can also understand over here first one i explained that to you that uh, plus 2 okay so here we can see give me one second yes y intercept that would like to change but a minus x cube just see that okay when it was x cube then it was like inverted as okay are you able to see my moving cursor mm, yes, sir. it was like this okay when it will be negative x so you would like to see that it will be like this okay from second to fourth okay when there was plus x cube then it was first and third okay your graph was passing in first and third through origin and then when it will be negative x 
then it will be your graph would like to pass through origin from first uh, second and fourth okay yeah do you understand that yes sir okay very quickly that uh, i can do that the 3 is 9 3 is 27 yeah the same thing that will come minus 27 Minus twenty-seven, then uh, minus to the. But why minus twenty-seven? It will be twenty-seven. That will be okay, because minus is already there. So minus three, three is nine. Yes, twenty-seven here. It will be like two to the four to the eight. It will be eight. It will be one, and it will be zero. And then now here it will be. Minus one, minus one, minus eight, minus eight, and then minus twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah. yeah wait a second. Minus twenty-seven. So now you can see that we can mention this point minus three comma twenty-seven minus three. But a minus three comma twenty-seven. Now you can see that the same as I explained that to you here minus two comma eight minus two comma eight will be here approximately like this. Okay. My and uh, wait here zero. Will be zero also minus one comma one minus one comma one a little bit above zero and zero 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 that will be exactly your origin point there yeah and then minus one comma one minus one comma one that will be a little bit downwards little bit down. And minus two comma minus eight, two comma minus eight will be a little bit over here. And three comma twenty minus twenty seven, three comma minus twenty seven will be approximately here. So yeah, you can see clearly that now, as I told you that your graph would like to be from second to fourth, okay? No. Yes. All right. And then, yes. Your graph is also like this, okay? So very quickly, very quickly. Yes, x-intercept, y-intercept. I think you understand that clearly, beta. Yes, sir. Yeah. So suppose that any type of graph that will be given to you, I think that I have to. You are asking that about this one, okay? Give me one second. I am checking that if. any type of question that will be there okay yeah so that uh, you can understand clearly very quickly i'm saying that okay so cubic graph this type of function will also be there okay so means any type of beta any type of cubic function will be there simply you have to plug in the values of x and then you will get the value of y mention the values on graph and you will get your graph okay Where the yeah hello I yes, am yeah I am saying that uh, and when you will get your graph so where the graph will cut the y axis that will be your y intercept just like you can also understand that here is minus four so that means it is negative four that is graph would like to pass through minus four on y axis okay. And then the other values of related to coefficient of x, x square, and x cube. That everything that you can, when plug in, and then whatever graph you will get there, then you can get your values there. Let me see that. Oh yes. So here you can see that they are asking one important thing that means suppose that in your book, they, uh, firstly they are asking about drawing the graph, but here also that. when you will draw your graph so how will you consider that uh, how many roots does it contains okay so always remember that beta means uh, in your book also they can ask you that uh, what will be the solution of quadrant i mean cubic equation okay so where the graph would like to cut the x axis okay where where okay it's a cubic graph so 100% your graph would like to cut the x axis 
thrice, okay? Yeah, yeah. you can see that one point. Are you able to see my moving cursor? Yes, sir. So here is one point minus three, and I think uh, one point four or one point three minus one point three. Sorry, and uh, then one point one. Okay. So these are the three points where the graph is cutting the x-axis. Yes. So that means all the x-intercept that will be your, yeah, 2.9 minus 1.3 and 1.1. Okay. Uh -huh. So these three red points that will be your solution. Understand? Yes. Where are the turning point of this cubic graph? Okay. So the first turning point you can see that minus 2.2 comma 2, okay? Minus 2.2 comma 2. That means the graph is changing its direction, okay? Next is 0 0.2 comma minus 4, and okay? So two two places are there where your graph is changing its direction, okay? So can you tell me once again? Oh yes. Beta, they are asking that where are the turning point for this cubic graph. So you can see that beta. Your graph is first turning point minus 2.2 here. Here you can see that? Yeah. Are you seeing here? So that means your graph is firstly increasing, 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 then from this point, then it is decreasing, okay? Oh. So that means it will be your first turning point, okay? Mm. And now it is decreasing, 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 decreasing. And now here you can see that at this point. Are you seeing this point here? Mm, yes, sir. Where my cursor? Oh. 0 0.2 comma minus 4. So from here you can see that again it is increasing. So that means there are two places where your graph is or two point where your graph is increasing okay yeah and it means changing their uh, means uh, uh, direction so that's why that when your graph will change your direction then that is your turning point okay what is y intercept y intercept as i explained that to you beta with respect to of seeing your graph you can clearly understand the constant value negative 4 that is your y-intercept, okay? Mm. Or indirectly, you can also see that uh, by your graph, you can see that your graph is also intersecting the negative y-axis at minus 4, okay? Mm. Understand? Mm, yes, sir. Great. So, let's do the next one. Yeah, y-intercept 0, comma minus 4. That's right. Now, next is beta. Next cubic function we are taking quickly. Yes, here also. So, plus 2. They are asking the same thing, but I am not going to explain that to you. And let's do that. What is next? Next. Okay, yes. It's also a function. Sketching cubics that you know. Yes, same cubic scraps. No. No different type of cubic graphs that they are seeing. Yeah, in this type of cubic graphs, they can also ask in which one you can see that. So firstly, you have to multiply all the three values. Okay. Also, whatever you are seeing that x minus 1, x minus 2, x and x plus 3. So from here, you can also get the value of values of x. That is x equals to 1, x equals to 2 and x equals to minus 3. So these are the point where the graph would like to cut the x-axis. Clear? Mm, yeah. Yeah. X equals to x minus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3. X equals to 1, x equals to 2, and x equals to minus 3. Okay? Uh, yeah, you can see that. You can see that. Are you seeing this one? Mm, yeah. Yes. So, so is that... Uh, what should we substitute in the uh, x place? Oh, yes, yeah. just to find the values of x, you just have to plug in that x minus 1 equals to 0, x, x minus 2 equals to 0, and x plus 3 equals to 0, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what, what they are doing here? They are finding the points where the graph is cutting the x axis, okay? Mm -hmm. So, that's why you are seeing that minus 3, 1, and 2, these three points that when you will get there, 
and then yeah y intercept y intercept also beta just plug in the values over there then you can get their six okay or simply yeah. you can understand that when you will when you will expand your expression then you will get x cube minus 7x plus 6 here plus 6 that means your graph will cut the y axis at positive 6 okay uh, means approximately here are you able to see my moving cursor yes sir yeah here you can see that on y axis that i place there i place there here uh, yes okay yeah yes when i will click there then you will see that your graph yeah so 0 comma 6 that is your point so in that way your curve will be just like as what you are seeing like this okay do you understand that so also yeah for a smooth curve by rough hand you can draw your graph beta that will be much convenient and yes I don't think that I have to tell you because the same type of thing that I explained that to you Mm. So beta, yes, cubic graph, I explained that to you, okay? Mm. And wait a second, wait a second, with respect to your class, uh, yes, come on, give me one second, cubic graph, you are saying a level, give me one second, you are studying functions? Uh -huh. Oh my God. Quadratic graphs, sketching polynomials. Okay. So I, beta, I explained that to you. I explained that to you general shape of quad, quadratic. Polynomial, okay. Cubic maximum points root intercept. Factorizing x minus a, x minus b, x minus c. We can move very quickly that. Okay, I explain this one to you. I explain this one also to you. Okay, another cubic function. Okay, cubic function. Let's see. Yes, fundamentally this one I explain that to you. Oh yes, from here you can see that it is a S shape curve. Okay. And uh, give me a second. Yes, I explained this one to you. Yeah, I'm checking that if there is an yes. The same type of things that you can see that. Okay. Yeah, same type of things that you can see that I am what I had explained that. But uh, from this graph, what you are seeing on your screen that here in your cubic graph, you can also find your maximum and minimum values. Okay. No. You can ask me a question that sir when I where I will get that maximum value so you can divide your graph into two parts or not okay mm -hmm. two half half okay half graph so you can see that it is your half parabola but it is downward opening okay so mm -hmm. there will be maximum point okay clear mm -hmm. yes. and you can also you can also see that your half parabola that means from here to upward <laughs> it is upward opening so here will be your minimum point understand mm -hmm. clear beta clear, clear, sir. yes so now yes this type of also that they explain that you have to plug in the values over there okay let's see that oh wow okay beta you can see that one second let me see that the same type of this one this type I have I explained that this type I have explained that this type all these graphs are related to the same type of beta you have to plug in the values of your graph and then you will get your means values of x and you will get your values okay here wait wait hello yes, beta here mod x cube that is given okay 
mod x cube that means modulus of x so whatever value of x that you will plug in either positive or negative that will come positive okay yeah. suppose that you are plug in minus 2 okay so minus 2 modulus of minus 2 that will be 2 2 to the 4 to the 8 8 minus 8 that is 0 that means your first point that will be minus 2 comma 0 okay understand yeah and yeah again i'm repeating as i explained that to you that five or six values that you have to pick okay with respect to x-axis so suppose that you are taking firstly just take zero okay when you'll plug in zero so zero zero is a zero zero is a zero you will get minus eight okay yeah. so zero comma minus eight will be first point then you can take one okay so one one's a one one's a one one minus eight you will get minus seven two Okay, two to the four to the eight, and you'll get zero. And then suppose that negative values also you can take that minus two, then you will also get zero minus three. Three nine three twenty seven. No, you can't take minus three. You can take minus one. So minus one one the one one the one minus one. It will be one one minus eight minus seven. Yes. So in this way, when you will plug in five or six values of x. Then you can get your graph over there, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, beta, you can see that it is your x cube minus eight. Whatever graph that you will get with respect to h, okay? With respect to h, just reciprocal that you will get there, one upon x cube minus eight, okay? Okay. Yeah. You can see that it's a reciprocal function. It is x cube minus 8. It is 1 upon x cube minus 8. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I am asking that. Do you understand that how to draw your h graph h? Yeah, x cube. Means what, uh, what number we need to substitute, sir, in the x place? Beta, do you understand that how to draw x cube minus 8? Yeah, I should that one. Okay, so now you can see that the same function in positive sign that you can see that in reverse order that is also given here, gx. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's a reciprocal function, okay? Yeah. So whatever graph will be just opposite that you will get in this one, i, okay? Uh -huh. A little bit I explained that to you about cubic graph beta, okay? in your free time any or very quickly that i can tell you that here cubic graph that means either you are increasing the values over here in the same way you can see that your graph would like to change okay value coefficient of x that means it would like to move up or down okay positive or negative also coefficient of x that it will also be like this okay so give me one second very quickly that yes this one i explained that to you this one also i explained that to you okay quadratic cubic it is your quadratic graph it is your cubic graph and it is your quartic graph okay okay yeah. quartic graph that means having power four i don't think that will be in your course okay but a little bit I can explain that to you. Quartic graph having power 4. So that means in this way that your graph will cut the x-axis on 4 places. Okay. Yeah. Clearly you can understand this one. Yes. And whatever will be the value of E. E that means your constant intercept. So that means that will be the point where the graph will cut the y-axis. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just try to understand two things. First, first graph is your this one. In this one, you can see that x to the power 4, that is positive. Yeah. Okay. So, it is your graph W. Okay. Yeah. And when you will reverse its sign, then you will get M over there. Okay. Just opposite. Okay. Are, are you understanding that? Yes, I understand. Great. Yes, clearly you can see that there will be four points on x-axis where the graph would like to pass through. Okay. Yes. 
and good sir yeah i'm here hold on yes in this type of graph you can see that they can be almost three turning points will be there two minimum and one maximum point okay uh-huh. the same trick that will be also there upward means you in this way that you can divide your graph into three parts three parts that means three small parabola will be there first one from here to here upward opening then from here to here downward opening and then again from up to upward opening so upward opening is then minimum point will be downward opening that means maximum point will be and then again upward opening that is minimum point will be clear yeah clear yes oh my god how much variation that you can see here oh, oh my god okay so here you can see that this type of quartic quart quartic graph you can see that there is one minimum point okay you can't consider the other one okay you can't consider the other one it is just like as a little bit cubic type of okay but here you can see that it is your quartic okay mm-hmm. yes so there will be only one value okay one minimum point clear yeah yes okay that's great no problem wait but i'll re- little bit reciprocal i am searching give me one second Give me one second. Transforming graph. Wait. Transforming you was asking, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Transformation means, beta. What will be the effect? What I was explaining that coefficient of x, y, and all that. Okay. Mm-hmm. That is known as your transformation. Okay. A little bit that whatever type of function will be. Okay. a little bit transformation also i am explaining that so what type of question will be there so you can try to solve that one okay yeah so here you can see that your uh, your topic is transforming graphs okay mm-hmm. so whatever type of graph will be there okay whatever type of graph will be there okay so in that condition transforming i think that in transformation that i have to explain you many things to you here we have one important change in sub notation that means suppose that a function is y equals to 2x square plus 1 now if you would like to change that in function so fx equals to 2x square plus 1 okay yeah. so that means you are you are uh, mentioning your y as a function so that means there will be no no there will be no change in there yes so by one by one that you can plug in the value of x over there and then you'll get the value of y okay understand no no yeah f equals to 1 2 3 4 and regarding to that one you will get the values over there and now mm-hmm. yes yeah, suppose that okay transformation bit i hear suppose that any quadratic function is given to you okay mm-hmm. so clearly you can see that x square is given so clearly its graph will be like this it's a parabolic graph will be there okay it will be like this okay yeah understand mm, yes sir so transformation that means suppose that if that will be in the format of fx plus a okay mm. okay it is the, i mean suppose that your graph your function is fx okay so mm-hmm. what effect does changing a in fx plus a okay means suppose that if you are adding a constant with your function so what will affect that okay we are explaining this one means suppose that a just see that here you are seeing a uh, means a uh, is a toodle you are seeing that horizontal toodle there is just see that are, are, are you able to see here yeah. it's your function that is fx equals to x square parabolic graph you are also saying and also what is the effects of fx plus a so plus a that means then you have to move right hand side 
you can see that graph will move upward or not huh no so once again beta just see that hold on i am telling you again yeah just see that are you able to see clearly on a screen yeah you can see that now initial condition it is your fx equals to x square okay mm-hmm. suppose that in your function if you are adding any constant value like a okay mm-hmm. so your function that will be like this or not fx plus a where you are seeing my cursor yeah. fx plus a yeah so that means fx plus a now we can increase or decrease the value of a so that we can see the effect that what will be ha- what will happen with the graph mm-hmm. okay so you can see that i am increasing the value of a 1 wait hold on 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh my god yeah you can see that your graph is moving upward okay yeah and when you would like to decrease the value of a then graph will move downwards okay understand yeah great do you understand it yes sir so it is your fx plus a so if you want to write down anywhere in your copy so you can also write that if your function will be first case transforming of function first transformation that is your fx plus a okay yeah. you can write this one first transformation that is fx plus a so regarding to the value of positive regarding to the value of a okay if the value of a will be positive then the graph will move upward with respect to y axis if the value of a that will be negative then the graph will move downwards with respect to y axis just write down this one Do you write that? We are writing, sir. Okay, yes. You can write that if any function is given, and if any constant value that will add or subtract, if the value will add, then graph will move upward with respect to y-axis, and if value will subtract, then it will move downwards with respect to y-axis. Okay? Mm. Yes. Done, okay yes so next is yes beta suppose that your function is given to you fx equals to x cube a cubic function that is given so you can see that it would like to pass through origin as usual you can see that and also i explain that to you that if there is no constant that is included so in that condition your graph will pass through origin i explain that to you just before ha huh? yes sir suppose that if your function will be multiplied by any constant value okay any constant so what will be effect okay what effect does changing a having in a fx okay function is given if you will multiply that by any value any constant so what will be change okay so it will a little bit steep okay yeah you can see that it is getting steepy okay are you seeing that oh yeah yeah you can see that so that means it will come closer to y axis okay or when you would like to be miss negative values then it will be closer to x axis okay or then it just opposite will be there okay Okay, but so tomorrow, as usual, that uh, Ishwar was saying that he was requesting to take morning classes of yours. So I think that from eight o'clock that will be Ishwar class, and from nine o'clock that will be of your class. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. And then we will continue in transformation tomorrow also. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks a lot, Bita. Within few hours, that this class will be uploaded on my channel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.
Yeah, it's a good one, right?